Hello boys and girls. This is Gloria from the Heart for Kids. How are you feeling this morning? You know, I'm feeling like you can do just about anything if you just let God use you. What am I talking about? Well, let me tell you of a story about a boy who let God use him. The name of this story is Maywin and the Pirates. It's a true story. By the way, do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? R. That's right, Niall. It's R. But it's not time for you in the story yet. Once there was a baby boy born in Britain to Roman parents. Calphurnius was his father's name and Conchessa was his mother. The year was 386, 386. The boy was named Maywin Scott. They were a prosperous family. Maywin's grandfather, Pontius, had even been a priest. The problem was the Roman Empire was falling and all the soldiers that had protected the Romans living in Britain were being called back to Rome, leaving Maywin's village unprotected. An Irish pirate named Niall of the Nine Hostages came to Britain. I am the Irish pirate Niall. What are you doing in Britain? I've come for your laddies and your lassies. Now give them over or I'll burn your village to the ground. Oh dear, they had no choice. And this is what Maywin wrote about it years later. When I was nearly 16 years old, I was carried away into captivity and slavery in Ireland with thousands of others. Can you imagine being taken by a band of pirates and sold as a slave? And he was only 15, nearly 16? The pirate Nile took him from his village in Britain to Dalriada, where he was sold to a druid priest. So he was born here in England, and the pirates came from over here and got him and went back here to Ireland. He was sold to a druid high priest. They worshipped nature and they had a lot of gods and goddesses. Maywin was treated badly. He wasn't given enough food, he nearly starved, and he wasn't given enough clothing. He was very cold. His job was as a shepherd to watch the sheep and take care of them. He felt like he had taken God for granted and disobeyed him when he was a boy in Britain and that's part of the reason he was captured. So he turned his life over to God and he started praying all day as he watched the sheep. He would wake at dawn in the woods or before the mountains for prayer. Do you think being a slave would draw you to God? Or might you blame God for not saving you from those captors, captures? Maywin fasted, he praised God, and he got close to him in prayer. He worked as a slave for six long years. Now he was 21. This is what he wrote about what happened next. One night, I heard a voice in my sleep telling me, It is good that you fast, for you will return to your country. So with God's power guiding me, I fled from my master of the past six years and the place of my captivity. He was nearly starving after a 200 mile journey from County Down to Wexford. It started up here, the County Down, and he traveled all the way through here down to Wexford. When he got there, he convinced some sailors to let him board their ship. After three days of sailing, they reached not Britain, but Gaul, which is France today. They abandoned the ship and wandered lost for 28 days. So he left from here, hoping to go back here and make his way home. But instead, the ship blew off course and landed in France down here. But at last, after 28 days of wandering, they found civilization and Maywin finally made his way back home to England. His family welcomed him. They begged him never to leave them again. And that's exactly what he wanted to do too, is stay there with his family forever. He had made it home. It sounds like a good ending to the story, right? Well, it's not. 
Maywin had another vision in a dream. A man came to him as if from Ireland. The man was named Vic Victoricus. He was like an angel and he had many medals in his hands. He gave one of them to Maywin. When Maywin took it, he saw that on the medal was written, the cry of the Irish. He saw a crowd of Irish people standing on the coast of Ireland and calling out to him, pleading, holy servant boy, we are asking you to come and walk among us again. Maywin was deeply moved by the vision. He went back to Gaul to study and become a priest. He was very devoted to God and he was promoted to the title of bishop. The Pope who ordained him gave him a new name as a bishop, Patricus, which means father of the people. But he never forgot his vision to return to Ireland and help the people there. He wanted to bring them at to Christ. Well, Pope Celestine soon sent him to Ireland to spread the gospel. He had some resistance at first from the church and from the people, but soon he was spreading the good news and baptizing new Irish believers by the thousands. He lived a long faithful life and he died in 461 in Saul, Ireland. He was known so well that he became the patron saint of Ireland. We know him today as Saint Patrick.